Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Oh, I was running slightly behind, but luckily well, we were able to get I right on today. So. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, I know Louise is going to be coming up. Here she is. Hi, Louise. So I know Bev is not going to come, I don't think, because she was coming back from the Cape today. Um, okay. So I think we should just go ahead and start. Um, so let me read these. Um, these orders from the governor. <laughs> um, pursuant to Governor Baker's July 16th, 2022 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, GLC 30A paragraph 18 and the governor's February 12th, 2022 revised order extending remote participation in all members in any meeting of a public body. This meeting of the Great Barrington Housatonic Improvement Committee will be conducted via remote participation to the greatest extent possible. Specific information and the general guidelines for remote participation by members of the public and or parties with a right and or requirement to attend this meeting can be found on the town's website at www.townofgb.org. For this meeting, members of the public who wish to listen to the meeting may do so in the following manner. And there are instructions uh, posted at the top of the agenda on the town's website. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately ac access the proceedings in real time via technological means. And then the next one, pursuant to MGL C30A section 20 F, after notifying the chair of the public body, any person may make a video or audio recording of an open session of a meeting of a public body or may transmit the meeting through any medium. At the beginning of the meeting, the chair shall inform other attendees of any such recordings. Any member of the public wishing to speak at the meeting must receive permission of the chair. The listings of agenda items are those reasonably anticipated by the chair, which may be discussed at the meeting. Not all items listed may in fact be discussed and other items not listed may also be brought up for discussion to the extent permitted by law. And this meeting is being recorded. Um, and since we have leeway to change the agenda, um, I'm gonna, call the meeting to order with a roll call vote and then propose that we just go ahead and talk about party in the park. So Patrick. Aye. And I'm an aye and Eric. Aye. Daniel. Sorry, aye. <laughs> and Louise. Aye. Okay, so the meeting is called to order at 635. Um, does anyone have an objection to skipping the agenda items and going right to party in the park? Okay. No, no <laughs> All right. Um, so I have a very short update. Um, we did get the permits that we needed. I think you all probably know that. And um, uh, today I sent out the flyer to both the middle school and the elementary school and um, waiting for approval and they'll send it out to their parents, which will be great. Um, I also asked Dev Devora at the Berkshire Co-op to give us a plug when they reach out to their members because they're a sponsor. Um, and I've ordered um, yard signs, um, but they haven't arrived yet. So when they get here, um, just sort of a straw vote, can everybody take a couple of them, three or four? Yeah. Yes, indeed. Okay. Yep. Great. Um, so I'll let you know when they come and we'll want to get those out ASAP um, in public, very, you know, visible places if possible. Um, and let's see. And Soco Creamery did um, agree that we could have ice cream at the event and Pulse has stepped up. They will be selling ice cream um, and they're going to take care of picking up the freezer um, selling the ice cream and returning the freezer. So um, we will have SoCo ice cream at the event. Um, let's see, Daniel, do you wanna go ahead and report in? Can we go back to yard signs just for one second? Um, yeah. 
just uh, since they're not political signs, do we have any restrictions on, I'm assuming, obviously not putting them on, on other people's private property, but are there any other sort of known restrictions on places we can put them? I can I can check on that. I'm pretty sure we, like, as far as them going on public property, I think it's fine since they're mm -hmm. not um, political signs. Um, but I will, I will send uh, the powers that know that better than me a, a text message here shortly. And okay. Yeah, I just don't want to have us put all the signs out and then have them disappear. Yeah, overnight. it's a town <laughs> event also, so I don't see why it couldn't be. You know, it's a town sponsored event, so I'm yep. pretty sure we can put it in front yeah, of the call or the Uzi Dome yeah. or whatever it may be. Yep. Cool. And also, I don't know where Daniel uh, lives, but I know everybody else here has a pretty visible front yard. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a lot of traffic going by your house, Patrick, your house, Louise, <laughs> Eric, um, my house on North Plain Road. So if we just, you know, put them in our own yards, that's going to be uh, yeah, pretty if you, visible too. If you put them in, our, in my yard, you'll definitely get all of the uh, scrap truck drivers <laughs> at the event. So, <laughs> yeah. 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 How many signs are there, Angela? You know, I only ordered 20 because um, I just was looking at the budget and I thought that you know, through Facebook posts and, and word of mouth would be much more valuable than spending a lot of money on the sign. So I only ordered 20. And do we also have a, any banners or hard posters that we're gonna distribute to the library? And I know extra specialties, we'll put them in there. So yeah. do we have those also? Yes, so Eric um, had those printed and um, I have some I can bring over to you, Louise, um, but I'm running some around. I know Eric's been running some around. Um, so if you have locations, um, I can I can actually take the signs to the location if you if that would be helpful. Um, like I could, Eric. Did you go to extra specialties? I have not been there yet, but each, I will stop there in the next day or two. Okay, well, I can go tomorrow if that Okay, helps. that'll be Where helpful. Where else do you want them to be? Um, and Sherry said to get, that she will post it in the Great Barrington Extra Specialties also. Okay. Um, I mean, the of course, the sort of usual suspects, library, Aberdale's post office, I got um, the Aberdale's post office, uh, Fuel, Stockbridge Coffee Shop, the co-op, um, the, the market in West Stockbridge. Um, how, how many posters do we have? I ordered 50, I think it was. Um, I think I still have a dozen. I can get more uh, pretty quickly. Okay. Um, um, I'd like to take a few. I'll bring one over to... Um, Simon's Rock, Kilpatrick Athletic Center. That'd be great. Um, and, um, you know, think about a few other places that might be um, good, good places to have them. Okay, so I can drop some to you tomorrow if that's okay, Louise. Yeah, sure, that'd be great. Okay, great. And Thank then I'll you. hit, and then I'll go to extra specialties. It'll save you a trip since I'll be out. Thank you. And a um, banner, do we have any, a banner? Or do we not do the banner? I didn't order a banner. Okay. Okay. Um, I think we have, so we have a lineup from Brian House with musicians named. Yeah, Brian's have, online as well. And, okay. and so is Veronica, we can, should I promote everybody? Yeah, why don't we let each of the um, entities sort of report in for themselves, if that's okay? And I know Sumara from the library was going to try to attend. Okay, there's Brian. And Veronica from Pulse. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Brian, would you give us a rundown of what, what you've got in store for us, please? Sure, sure, sure. Um, well, we have uh, f four slots of entertainment um, kind of scheduled and in 
45 minute intervals throughout from 11, uh, starting at 11.30 to three o'clock um, with a couple solo performances to start out. Um, one is a local performer, Johnny Snyder. Um, and um, and uh, Soul Prophet is a, a singer songwriter, a friend of mine from the Pioneer Valley who's, who's uh, you know, volunteered to help out. It's been been doing this for a long, long time. Uh, and and then I have a, a little unit that's going to play some music. Uh, and then we're going to finish up with Annie Guthrie, um, who's who's going to play some of her songs from her um, really awesome album. Uh, Dragonfly was was out not so long ago. So and that's basically it. We have we we should be all set. I, I know I um, had uh sent eric and some of the members a, a little blurb about or, or uh requests for um to connect with our sound engineer so that's it's not a big deal he's all set and ready to go it was just a question about power uh, but we should we should be fine in figuring that out so okay well thank you for all you've done brian oh sure sure looking forward to it but yeah. I got a question, and, and I'll yes. connect with you after. Also, I'll, I'll connect about the power requirements. But okay, uh, I want to talk about the stage as well. Uh, oh, does, does uh, do we need any assistance getting that in the place? Or anything? thanks for mentioning. Thanks, Eric. Um, I almost forgot about that. No, the stage stage will be um, delivered. We don't have to worry about picking that up or anything. Green Aid, our partners, Green Agers, are gonna uh, come through with a stage. And I, I think um, if we have a good sense of where it's going to go, which I think we do, I could, I could pass that information on. And, and I mean, the day of, we could nail it down too. Or I actually, no, I think they would like to bring it Friday. If, it, yeah, if that works for um, the committee. And I could, again, get details about when and, and things like that. Yeah, if we just set up a time, I'll be happy to meet you Friday. I'm meeting the uh, Porta Potty guy there at some point as well, and I'll be doing some other items. That okay, day. I'll be in the area, so definitely, we'll be happy to help with that. Good. I'll, I'll confirm a Friday time with you then. Sounds good. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, great. Thanks, Brian. You're welcome. Um, Samara, would you like to go next? Sure. Hi, um, I'm Samara, and um, I'm newly the director at the Great Barrington Libraries. And the, the libraries are really the Ramsdell Library um, at the forefront of that would like to do a project at uh, Party in the Park, which uh, would be a community project called Map Your Housatonic. <clears throat> and um, it would have a two two parts to it, one for more geared for little kids and families, but really everyone to all work together to draw a map of their Housatonic, um, of their favorite parts of it, uh, um, maybe things they imagine to be there, anything. Um, the other part of the project would also be a, uh, a mapping of your Housatonic, but um, would come with some kinds of prompts. And this would be done um, in conjunction with uh, Tim Abbott, who is uh, at the Housatonic Valley Association, where they do mapping, um, different kinds of mapping projects. Um, and, uh, and so people would uh, map their Housatonic as well, um, and perhaps a, a larger swap, you know, their whole Housatonic rather than contribute to a community one. And, um, and that would be the beginning of a, of a multi-tiered uh, map, uh, mapping of Housatonic that the libraries would like to do in conjunction with, um, with the Housatonic Valley Association. But this would be the kind of beginning step of a, of a project that would go on. And um, we uh, have, Angela has offered us a, a canopy, so uh, we would have that and we'll bring some tables. Um, and uh, chairs and uh, all the drawing materials and 
the prompts and um, and it will be me there and Talia, who is the assistant director at the Ramsdale Library and also Tim Abbott from the Housatonic Valley Association. That's what we'd love to do. Oh, and we'd also love to just side note, uh, take one of those um, posters and put that up at uh, both libraries. I can grab some of those. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Thank you, Samara. I'll make sure that the, the posters come to both libraries tomorrow. Okay, great. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Great. Um, okay, Veronica from Pulse. Hi. Um, I have a few questions, but I'll tell you like what we're thinking first. Um, we'll be there all day. Thank you, Angela, for setting us up with uh, SoCo. So we'll be selling ice cream um, and we'll have our schedules out just to promote ourselves a little bit. Um, we have three different um, things that we wanna do. Uh, the first is a little performance. It's a jazz and tap number. Um, it's site specific in the way that the tap words, location is a question I have. The tap words we wanna place like all around in different places of the park. So it's like you can look around and there's a tapper, tapper, tapper. And then the jazz dancers will dance with them in between them. Um, so I was thinking that as kind of like a first thing for Pulse. Um, and then we, uh, in October, we actually, we're, we have a partnership with um, a leader of the Stockbridge Muncie Mohican tribe. And he's coming to do some like um, interactive presentations in the schools. Um, and we thought it'd be nice to do one for the public. Um, so he, he's gonna do something. I don't really have a description of what he's gonna do yet, but I think it includes a little of music and dance. So um, we'll see. Um, I'm trying to get a description from him so we can have more of an idea, but. And then um, the third thing is a swing dance class. Um, pretty simple swing dance class because we're going to be in grass. Um, but the teacher is like, <laughs> he's just this loud, fun guy. So he's going to like make it a party. Uh, so we were thinking that could be anywhere from like 30 minutes to an hour. Um, we don't want to overdo it. Um, so we can either plan that or he can just kind of like read the, the people, the room. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so my questions are, uh, how do I like confirm a schedule? Um, so I just, I don't know, those, that's the order I, I'd want things to go in. And the only other time restraint is the swing class would have to be at 2.30 or later. Otherwise, um, just, want to know so I can let everyone know where they should be at what time um, and if there's going to be some way to tell ev everyone that this space is being used for a dance class or a performance at the time so um, there's they can easily do their thing. Okay well I, I would assume that um when you're doing a dance or a presentation that the music that Brian has would have to stop. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, that would be best, yeah. Okay, so um, Brian, are you controlling the music or do you have somebody else doing that? I, I'm, I'm not controlling it. We, I mean, things can be <laughs> flexible, <laughs> yeah. No, I'm, I'm in no way controlling anything, no. Um, we can be very flexible. I think it's just a matter of like knowing exactly what to work around would be helpful. It sounds like you have a definitive, you know, like the pulse has a definitive idea of what can happen. Um, I mean, if we just want to nail down times that that happens, we could make try to just make sure that's open or available. Um, and if that means, you know, people do different things on stage because if I heard correctly from a previous meeting, you wouldn't use the stage or you won't need that. So, um, I mean, if something could go on the stage, that might, that could work too. But at any rate, all said and done, we could be flexible. I, I guess it would just help to know what schedule you would hope to do for Pulse. And then we could, we could arrange some of the music around that. 
if that means, you know, again, adjusting some things we could do with. Okay. If you have set times too, we're happy to move around well, your schedule because we don't have anything planned yet time-wise. So just- How much time do you need for each of those performances? Oh, yeah. Good question. Um, the, the tap jazz piece is short. It's, I don't know exactly how long it is, but it's um, probably like eight minutes. So okay. it's just like a short, just yep. thing. Um, the um, uh, Stockbridge Muncie Mohican presentation, I would think is about 45 minutes. But I okay. also don't think that, that, I think that could overlap with the music. Um, could we maybe open with that? Or no, you wanted to open with the tap jazz. We can open with that. I mean, because there's a half hour, we started at 11. So maybe if we had turned into like a bit of an opening. I, I was going to suggest that if, you know, because if the schedule, I believe, musically started at 1130, mm -hmm. uh, it would be, it'd be fairly easy to push things back to 12. And, and I, you know, I really like the idea of the sort of, um, if you will, spiritual or that honoring opening. Um, I think that's a, that's a great suggestion. And maybe that could fit in that first hour. Yeah. Yeah. I like that idea. Um, so that's, a, it starts at 11 or 1130? 11. 11. Okay. Thank you. And then the, the jazz tap thing can fit in between a set break of the band switching out. And then if the swing dance guy can't be there, can if he can confirm he can do it at two, maybe that closes closes it out or something, right? Because if he can't get there before 2.30, I think you said, right, Veronica? The Yeah, 2.30. And that's perfect because we'll, you'll be ending, you know, a set hopefully and we can kind of roll into something and it can go past three. I don't, you know, we start. So yeah, if he shows up late, Brian's just going to have to do a double encore. That's all. <laughs> and then uh, we'll carry on until uh, the swing starts. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, the the uh, tap, that'd be a great, set in, you know, between set kind of transition piece. I think that'd be awesome. Yeah, do and um, yeah, since that is only seven minutes, um, is there like a time that's in between sets that I can give them? I, I have a schedule, Veronica, that Brian sent to me that I oh, okay. I would just um, do a group message to everybody or, you know, I'll email it to you, Brian on it. Uh, we'll just put everybody that's here on it. Okay. And then um, you guys can discuss shifting it this way or that. Right now, we'll, we'll say that we're going to open with the Mohegan opening and then um then brian uh one of the the music will start at noon and then you guys you know however it works with everybody's perfect that, yeah sounds good sounds great okay. and um i'm gonna i don't have brian's phone number but i'm gonna give brian veronica's phone number um because it sounds like it's something that you guys can just sort of talk through and work it out between the two of you Okay. That, that sounds yeah. good. I'm 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 fine with that, Veronica. Yeah, that sounds good to me too. Should be okay. pretty oh. easy. Yeah. So Brian, do you have a pencil handy? I do. Okay. It's um 260-387-0412. Great. And when you guys Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. When you guys work it out, just email it back to us and that'll be the final schedule. Okay. Sounds, um, good. sounds good. And we need to, I think we should put in there somehow a, like a welcome and then a, an ability to thank our sponsors. So um, maybe right at 11, or if we see that a bigger crowd, you know, ends up coming at 12, I, I don't know. Can we sort of leave that open? All of that, I, I, Definitely, all that's possible. I mean, it, it's just up to you all as the committee when you would want to do that. Just, just say, hey, we're going to do our announcements now. Or, <laughs> I mean, if we set it now, that's great. But again, anytime you wanted to do it after, I would say starting at eleven o'clock, it's it's open. 
Yeah, okay. We can plug them in between each band or something, Angela, right? Just have, yeah, uh, sure. Yeah. yeah. Brian, are you going to actually have somebody announcing each of the acts? Um, I, I hadn't really thought of that. I mean, I could I could definitely do that myself since I know all the people involved. Um, I'm happy to do it. Um, I, yeah, didn't really think of it as, as that formal. I was just going to make sure people were, will get on stage at a certain time. I, I'm glad to announce it. Sure, I'll have fun with that. Okay, um, so then you could also announce the dance acts or you and Veronica could work out how that's going to happen. Be happy to do it. You, you, you guys okayed it. So when I get on the mic, no. Just, just <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, it sounds good. All right. That sounds great. Do we have anybody from Muse here? I have a quick question before we move on. So yeah, I just, sure. and maybe this has been covered previously, but uh, Veronica, do you bring a sound system or do you need to play music through Brian's sound system? Um, playing music through Brian's sound system would, yeah, we'd probably need that. <laughs> okay, so you guys can yeah. work out whatever playback device you need, whether it's oh. a, you know, MP3 player or CD player or whatever. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Patrick. That's a yeah, good sure. question. And yeah. just Veronica, if you do know that ahead of time, it would be that would be helpful. I can pass it on to the sound engineer just to make his life easier. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And, and Veronica, so, just double check with Bettina, because I think at one point she had said you guys were so used to doing this outdoors that you were going to bring your own sound. So just could... just double check with her and then circle back to Brian. Yeah, I'll do that. Thank you. Okay. We didn't really cover the uh, tap dancer uh, uh, reserved space. How do we, right? Wasn't that a question earlier? Yes. Um, so I don't know if we can get like some like snow plow stakes or something. Or is that kind of tacky? We Does can, it need yeah. to be designated spaces or, or can you? throw down the tap floors wherever there's empty space and just have it spread out? Um, tap, uh, tap floors, I think we can set them. I need to know what he's working on. I need to talk to him. Um, I think that if we set up, if, if I know where the tap boards need to be, I can, Put them down and the tap words themselves will like reserve a space kind yeah. of um so maybe we just do that okay yeah. yeah that would be great and i was going to suggest that um we unless we need more time everybody start setting up at 10 um so that we're we're set and ready to go at 11. so um does that sound like enough time for everyone? Yes. Um, okay. this, yeah, the sound uh, sound will be ready by 11. So he's, you know, uh, it, he'll probably be there around on Saturday, probably nine o'clock. Uh, normally he's like, you know, three hours ahead of when showtime is. So, which is good. Gives him enough time to troubleshoot anything. Okay. And then, Angela, will we uh, be providing Brian with a list of our sponsors so that in between sets, from what I'm hearing, um, Brian, you'll be thanking our sponsors in, in the, the order of their generosity, perhaps? <laughs> yeah, what I can do is I can write some um, bullet points, like a little script, and then periodically, Brian, if you can weave them into whatever you're saying or introducing, um, as long as you cover them all in the 11 to three period, I think that would be great. And some of them, you know, I'll indicate that you could repeat them. Yeah. <laughs> Happy to do it, sure. Okay, great. Um, I have one more question about the location. It would be good if there was one designated spot, I guess, like, um, 
I don't like literally right in the middle where there's that like hill is a nice spot. The grass seems softer. I know that's not really a thing, but um, and it's nice and flat just because I think the classes will need a designated spot more than the performance even. Um, we did on our map, like, Veronica, we did mark out that center space uh, when we did the site visit for you guys, I guess. And if, um, <clears throat> yeah, I could always, I have some stakes and stuff and some like caution tape I use for trenches that we could put around there um, if we see okay. it's needed before as the day goes on. Okay. Um, yeah. That or sounds great that there's at least there's like no like food truck or yeah, you know, no, just like no. if there's a spot. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah and we have some signs too I can I can bring just like yeah the steak ones let's just say Berkshire Pulse so maybe I'll just bring one of those. Um, I can okay. also bring I have um, uh, soluble paint that you can spray on grass and then the rain washes it away so I can bring that on Saturday morning as well. Oh, that could be fun. So Veronica, you can yeah. be the dangerous person with the can of paint. Okay, mm -hmm. sounds great. <laughs> so yeah, just and, and in theory that the, the, the food people will be over uh, in the basketball court sort of area. Um, the, the one food truck that's coming, I think it's just gonna be on the opposite side of the fence. Uh, I, don't, I don't see us uh, that. Um, you know, I was thinking booths like Samara's and stuff might be in the base, the old baseball field area along that fence line um, it, on, on the map. That's the way we had it. Um, Chief Burger's gonna have a fire truck or two there. Uh, maybe not the whole time, depending on how long you can get some guys there. Uh, you know, so there'll be a little bit of activity, probably I'm thinking on like the Meadow Street Road, these traveled stuff. Um, but other than that, I think we'll have plenty of space for, for everybody and, and the masses of people that are going to show up. So. Okay, great. Um, I did find out from the Parks Department that there are nine trees that are scheduled to be planted in the park, in the playground area. Um, and I contacted Tom Ingersoll because I thought, wouldn't it be fun to have a tree planting in the middle of all this? Um, and it's probably not gonna happen because he doesn't know when the trees are gonna arrive to him. So mm -hmm. that fell down, <laughs> that fell down the tubes, but that's okay. Um, I'll ask him to let us know when he's going to plant and maybe we can you know, have some people gather for that because the town has agreed to plant nine more trees in the playground, which is great. That is great. Yeah. Um, I have not heard yet from um, Extra Special Teas. Um, and I know that the owner left the country on Monday. Um, I tried to call her while Louise was in California and didn't hear anything back from her. So Louise, have you heard anything from Extra Special Teas? Um, yes, I'm trying to pull up this email right now. Um, so while you're looking, okay. let, me just, let me just recap. We've yep. got um, the Mexican food truck. We have uh, North Plain Farm for grilled sausage, sausage sandwiches. Still Pleasant and Maine has not responded. I've gone to see Craig. I've talked to him in person, so I don't know what's happening there. Um, we have the SoCo ice cream um, and extra special teas. Louise, you're going to report on that. We have Grampy's Grampy's oh, hot, hot dog. dog. Right, right. Too. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. What happened to the fried chicken? It did not. Do. Okay. Conflict yeah. of schedule. Yeah. Okay. Um, so Sherry says, we plan to have a table in the park. We will sell a few of our gluten-free baked goods and some of our extra special tea teas and products as well. We will have a few samples of baked goods for tasting and have three teas for tasting. Those are free samples. Great. Our, our store will be open across the street. We've worked hard on our store and outdoor area. So all employees will be working either at the table in the park or at our store across the street. Our bubble tea would be a nice addition to the event. However, it's just too hard to mix it away from our tea bar. We will have it for sale in our stores. I leave on vacation tomorrow. My employees are planning on helping out and we will be there for sure. Great. 
Perfect. The, the only other request regarding food is uh, I have some young girls that would love to have a little bait sale uh, at a little booth uh, during it. Um, and I don't think it would uh, uh, in, impose on extra specialties because it's going to be full of gluten. Yeah, so yeah. I, I think different I think market, I, definitely. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sounds good. And they were uh, hoping to donate the money to the to the cats on, on Meadow Street for the food. I bought oh, a bunch of cats yeah. there. So that's uh, another good who's a ton of cause. So love the cats on the, the one skunk. <laughs> and the one giant skunk, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um so um we weren't able to meet last week, partly because I blew it and didn't post the agenda. And then when I went back to post the agenda, the town never got my email. So it was kind of a kooky uh, couple of missed meetings. Um, but I've spoken to Daniel and um, he had mentioned a hip hop artist. Um, Daniel, did you have a- Yeah, have so he, he has a family event that weekend. So he's not gonna be able to make it for that. And I also spoke to Jill um, and she also has an event that um, same weekend. So she won't be able to make it. But okay. I'll, tomorrow I might know she has someone that works with her that does aerial fabric. So there's still a possibility, but I, I kind of wouldn't, not I'm counting. Sorry. So. I'm sorry to interject, but Jill emailed me and said that that was not possible. I forgot to tell you that. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, so we, um, we could actually hire some more uh, entertainment if we wanted to. Um, and the, the place where I could go pretty easily, because I already sent an email to them several weeks ago, is Berkshire Busk. Um, and if we were willing to have like, um, you know, mimes or people who would be in the crowd, but they wouldn't need music, um, mm -hmm. there might be somebody on stilts, um, something like that. Would, would mm -hmm. you all be in favor of that? Yeah. Could I just uh, clarify the face painting status? Oh, yeah. Is that still happening? Let me report for Bev, because she um, and I spoke a few days ago before she went to the Cape. So um, she has uh, at least one person and she's trying to find a second. Um, and I'm gonna bring tables over and she and I are gonna bring chairs. And so there's gonna be a face painting like station. And I think what we'll do is probably put it fairly close to the library so the kids all kind of go in one place. Um, so Bev is on that. Yep. Okay, thank you. Yep. Okay. Um, Just circling back to the Berkshire bus thing. I mean, I'm. I think we got a pretty good lineup. I'm not opposed to having more as long as it doesn't short in any of the already uh, uh, entertainment we have. I guess I would say if it's people wandering through the crowd or having, like you said, mimes and stuff that uh, aren't going to jump on the music uh, scenario, I, I think that would be cool. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm thinking about something that would not distract from either the dance or the, um, or the music, um, especially if there's a mime who can stand still and just, you know, be still. <laughs> um, but I'm not sure who's available, um, but I can find out. Sounds good. Okay. Um, so I was hoping that everyone on this committee could be there at uh, at least 10 o'clock on Saturday and then stick around till four because um, we're the cleanup crew. Um, the town is gonna pick up refuse, but you know, we are responsible for making sure that the playground is fairly clean. Um, so uh, I'm planning on that and I'm dragging my husband as well. So whoever can be available would be fabulous. Yeah, I, I, I will definitely be available. I, yeah. I was thinking about it, Angela, when I was watching the Parks Commission meeting 
And, and Karen did tell Joe to bring extra garbage bins there, right? Is that, did somebody, because I do, looking through my notes, we had, um, my, my helper had called uh, Rogers Trucking and they offered to donate some sort of, I forgot what size, we have it written down, I can't find my notes, but I remember they offered, but I don't know if that would just get in the way and be an eyesore if, if Joe said that he was going to bring extra receptacles and clean it up, pick it up on Monday when everybody's back at work. So I don't know anything about that, but I can call tomorrow and find out. Okay. I, I can I can put that on. Uh, I got a few text messages going out um, after this, so I'll put that on my list as well. So you're going to contact Joe? I'll contact Joe and find out if 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 that if I heard that right, and if not. I'll, I'll recontact Rogers Trucking and have them bring a receptacle over because they were willing to donate it. Okay, that's really nice. And I know <clears throat> the library has a whole bunch of those yellow bags that some of us used when we did a Housatonic Village wide cleanup. Mm -hmm. So I was just going to grab some of those and then we could use those um, to gather up any kind of trash that is sort of loose. And they're really bright, so you can't miss them. So if there are receptacles, we can you know, have them near those receptacles. And I'm hoping if people buy drinks, we can maybe recycle too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, um, okay. Um, I guess um, I was gonna just ask everyone did you get the graphics and can you post to Facebook, email out to your friends, do whatever you can to uh, let people know about the event? Yeah, I started posting in two of the groups already and I'm just gonna, I think, continue doing that because the Festival Latino is coming up this weekend. So I think just kind of staying with it so it stays in the feed. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Sounds so, good. We, so oh, and have, maybe if uh, Veronica and Brian, once you guys come up with like a schedule, if I could get that, and then I'll I'll repost that again, uh, including the dancers. Sounds good. Yeah, sounds good. Um, I'd also like to get a poster as well to put up at polls. Um, okay, I'll bring one by tomorrow. Okay, great. Yeah. Yep. And that, Angela, I can get more of those if we need, um, you know, if we want to leave extras for people to grab, um, I can get more of those pretty quickly. Okay. Eric, you must have, got, I think you gave me about 20. So okay. have you already put 30 of them out? I handed out a good couple handfuls to a few people. Um, okay. I can check in my truck to see there's a few places I just left some on the counter. Um, okay. So, okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, and you know what? I forgot to tell everybody. Um, I went ahead and printed um, uh, a flyer, but without the sponsors on them because we hadn't nailed them down. And it went into the newsletter. So Eileen Mooney um, distributed almost 240 of those. So those went out to Housatonic households um, maybe a week ago. Eric, did you? Um leave some posters at Housatonic Real Estate? I did not, but I, I can. I drive by it every day. Yeah. If I see somebody in there, I'll stop in there for sure. And Richard and, you yes, know, the Baker. Yeah, there. that's right. Okay. So we have, um, we have money to spend on Facebook ads if we want to do that. Um, uh, does anyone have ideas about what, what else we could do to publicize? Are we going in the, the edge and is that the? Uh, I don't know, yeah, we can do the edge. Doesn't, or doesn't somebody tell me the edge will do a free um, ad for um, this type of, you know, city sponsored kind of event. So um, whether it costs money or not, I think if we can get in there, I don't know if it's what the timeline is. Um, I can check that tomorrow. Um, Eric, 
Yeah, I just uh, Eileen Mooney has her hand up. I was going to promote her if that's sure. While he's doing that, I'll say that I think I recall that the radio station will also do, um, you know, add an event to their list of events. Yeah. So Eileen, I think I promoted you. All you got to do is uh, unmute yourself. Okay, I'm, I think I'm um, unmuted. Yes. Okay. I, I just want to say that the print was what you gave me, and then I made one. I have a, about an equal number of people who get it online. The newsletter. So. Oh, great. That's awesome. Yeah. More than you had said. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I know one other one we can always check with. Um, you know, shopper shopper's guide is pretty popular. People go through that. I, um, I also walk by their office quite a bit. I can stop in there or call tomorrow too to see what it would take if, uh, since it's a town thing, if there would be a a different price or something like that. So, Eric, I'm happy to do that tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, you, you've got a lot on your plate. Um, and I've got a press release that I've sent to the Edge and to the Eagle. And Eileen, I didn't send it to you because you told me not to because <laughs> <laughs> you had the flyer. Um, but I can uh, also, I promised in an email to somebody that I would call the radio station and see if we can be featured on one of their shows, um, which would mean somebody would have to be interviewed. Um, and I don't know who would want to do that, but we can figure that out um, as we go along. But um, anything else that anybody has? I don't think so. The only thing I can think of is, is I did check in with all the food uh, people as far as, you know, the hot dog, Sean, and, and the food truck and told them, you know, we don't, there's not going to be water or power hookups and everybody seemed fine with that, you know, so um, I think we're in good shape. Uh, Chief Storty said Archer, the service dog, will be there for uh, as many, a handful of hours as as long as there's no calls for them and, and stuff like that. So I think we should be pretty excited for it. So that's great. So will the fire trucks be within the playground area? Will they drive them in? I know. I think they're going to end up being, say, on like Meadow Street. I think they're just because it's going to be the least um, busy street, is what I'm thinking. Uh, Charlie was going to get back to me on that, but. There's only one big gate opening, and that's to get on the basketball court. And I don't think that they want it on there. So, yeah. do we need to restrict so, parking on Meadow Street at all in order to accommodate the truck or vendors or anything like that? The one thing Chris Rumble uh, suggested is keep in mind um, having somebody available to help with parking if if it does turn into a thing. I do think we'll have to restrict. There's like that pull off area. Um, and that might be like where the food truck goes or the fire truck goes there. And then uh, then the food truck over by the more of the bigger gate opening by the playground or something like that. But I do think we probably will restrict. That's a good point, Patrick. We'll probably restrict parking on that lower section there of Meadow Street. Yeah. Or maybe um, early Saturday morning, the first people who get there, just stake that out and don't let anybody park there until the food truck or, or um, fire truck comes. But just because that's going to be one of the first places that people are going to want to park. Yeah. Yeah. I have some oh. cones and stakes. We can get it. Yeah. 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 Yes. OK. Yeah. All right, that's great. Um, Eric, it sounds like you're gonna be there at the crack of dawn on Saturday. I'm gonna be there pretty early setting up power for the stage and a few other things, so. Okay. But right. it won't be bad. Yeah. Okay. 
All right. So, um, so it sounds like we're going to cluster the service dog, the library's booth, and the face painting together. The tap boards will be kind of scattered throughout. Um, the music's going to be up near the school on a stage. Um, the food is going to be on the basketball court. Um, and then the, the fire trucks will be outside the fenced in area. So um, that's what we're shooting for, I think. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Um, so I will check into Shopper's Guide and whether we can get some radio play. Um, and uh, if anybody else thinks of anything, let me know because I can I can make some phone calls or whatever. So, and has anybody heard that anybody's coming? Um, yes. one <laughs> I got I got family members coming, so I'll be some of that and in, 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 I'm putting up signs on job sites as well. So let's we'll see what happens. Okay. You know, my family's coming. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Better be there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm also, I don't see the 10 day forecast hitting Saturday yet, but Friday of next week looks like it's gonna be nice. So tomorrow yeah. we'll probably be able to check for next Saturday. Sounds good. Keep our fingers crossed, so. Okay, does anybody else have anything else? Um, okay, um, let's uh, it, go to the next agenda item, all things Housatonic. Is there anything that anybody would like to bring up at this point? We've all got party and the park on our minds. Um, how about, is there any uh, citizen speak? Yes. Let me promote Ben here. Okay. Go ahead, Ben. Just have to unmute yourself, Ben, and you should be good. Sorry. Uh, I'm just curious, is there a website or anything that the schedule and like a schematic of the park is gonna be on? We do not have a website, no. Uh, I was just curious. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. We'll post the schedules to the Housatonic neighbors and the Great Barrington Community Board. So if you look in those areas, you'll probably be able to find it. Yeah, I know. I was just didn't know if it was all going to be directing to a spot. I just know with those boards, things can get pushed down. You know, you don't totally. To yeah, I, that's why I'm going to just keep posting about them as the days go on. Because um, I noticed that the first day I thought that it had actually got deleted. Yeah, <laughs> the algorithm is not kind, so. No, but repetition should work. So we'll, we'll work on the website for the second annual um, mm -hmm. party in the park. Sounds good. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, anyone else citizen speak? Okay, how about media time? Um, why don't you put it on the website? the town website i have asked thank you eileen i have asked kathy crouch to take the um flyer and post it on the housatonic improvement committee's page um i haven't seen it yet but as soon as brian and um veronica have the schedule nailed down and brian you're still there i think um if you could push to maybe get that tomorrow or the next day um, I will ask the town to put that on our web page. And yeah, then they I'm can gonna... also push it out via their social media and, and uh, that stuff too. Yep. Brian, what were you going to say? I was just going to say, I'll send a version of the, the schedule I, I've created already just from our discussion tonight. So I'll send that out tonight. Okay, that's great. Um, if we can get the dance um, merged into yours, um, that'll course. be really helpful. Yeah, I, I, yeah, definitely have done that. Okay, super. Okay, um, so 
what about our next meeting? Um, do we want to set a meeting for sometime in October? And we'll go back to Thursdays. This was just, you know, I tried to get us to meet as quickly as we possibly could. We're not likely to need a, a meeting before the party, right? Um, just thinking sometimes it's a good idea to just schedule something and post the agenda to town hall, even if you do cancel it in case yeah. we need it. But I, I don't know that we will, but I throw that out there. Yeah, I can certainly do that for like maybe um, Thursday the 29th. Mm -hmm. Yeah, might yeah, as well. well. Do that. That's a good yeah. idea, Patrick. Okay, I'll put the only agenda item then will be party in the park and then we'll see what happens. Um, okay, so looking to October to, to um, meet on the 6th, that's right before Columbus Day weekend. Let me just check one thing here. Okay, and is that the meeting that we'd like to invite Chris Remble to to talk about Cook's Garage? Um, that's what I was going to suggest. We if we if we can do the Chris Remble near the end of October is what um, I was asked. Uh, I just had that conversation the other day. Um, so if it could be like our second meeting in October, that would be better for that one. And, okay. and October 6th works good for me. Um, the 13th does not. So the 6th would be better. October 6th would be better for me. Okay. Is, okay. Is that okay for Louise and Ben? Or, yeah. I'm sorry, Daniel. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, and then thinking ahead, like assuming that party in the park is just a, you know, we hit it out of the park and it's great and everybody has a blast and we get a thousand people there and uh, all of that good stuff. Um, what would be the agenda items for the sixth? Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, let's see. The party in the park website. <laughs> <laughs> second annual <clears throat> well if if no one has an idea tonight please think about it yeah. because um i i would need to have that posted you know right after party in the park um yeah. i'll send the notice to the town i guess i mean the next thing on the agenda would be to think about what we want to do next. I mean, I remember having a meeting where we had finished with the charrette and really finished our work um, in preparation for the RFP. And then we needed to figure out what, what this committee was going to put its energy toward next. So I see that same thing happening after a recap of party in the park and then where where do we go from here okay um and i think uh th thank you louise we also had decided that we would um wait through september to see if we had any more interest in a new member for the committee um so far we only have two um so we could talk about that at the next meeting as well sounds good yeah, the other things were, were, were signage for um, entering the, the village center, mm -hmm. right? And then, um, yeah, there's a few other ideas I have too that, but we could, it doesn't want to hurt to start our conversation about Cook's Garage either uh, and line up questions or whatnot before Chris gets there um, as well. So, okay. Do we need Eric? Do we need to choose another time to meet in October so that we can give Chris as much notice as possible? Should we say the twentieth? Uh, that would be two weeks from the sixth. Yeah, is that late enough in October? Because there's another Thursday, the twenty seventh. Yeah, uh, that's a planning board meeting, and I believe Chris is uh, uh, at those. So, okay. so I think are it would you... be the 20th. I could run it past them uh, next time I'm, I'm there. Okay. So. All right. Sounds great. Sounds great. Okay. Anything else from anyone? 
Okay, so um, our next meeting will be, I'll post something for next week and then uh, send an email around to see if we need to meet. Um, and then our next meeting will be the 6th of October if we don't meet next week. Um, and I'll see everybody at the party in the park at 10 a.m. on October 1. Awesome. Um, okay, so I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll uh, make a motion to adjourn this fine meeting tonight. Second that motion. Okay. Patrick? Aye. My vote is aye. Eric? Aye. Uh, Daniel? Aye. Louise? Aye. Okay, thank you. And thank you all to everyone who attended tonight. Thank right, you. Okay, bye-bye. Thanks, everybody.